Good morning. Uh, so welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. It's day 16, yeah, day 16 of Open. Uh, today is Sunday Yum. Slightly different Sunday Yum. We're gonna have, we're gonna be in child. We're gonna be sitting up for a little bit of it rather than just lying on the floor. But we're building towards shoulders and deep hips, okay? Uh, and my website's up. Um, thank you, Sinead. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sinead. Thank you, Sinead. Oh, thank you, Sinead. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so there's a few more things you need to add to it, like next live class and last live class and um, just a few different things, but basically it's up. Um, you'll see the link here. Oh, sugar, music is still on. Um, you'll see the music, um, you'll see the thing. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I hate it when I leave the music on. Um, so my website's up. We're going to be sitting up a bit for the Sunday Yum and come lie on the floor. No, don't. Come into a child's pose. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so come into your child's pose and settle in. Just wiggle a bit. Move from side to side. Connect. Wiggle a bit deeper. Yeah, there's something about the folding of us that we have to soften into. So soften into the folding of you. Let your belly settle towards your thighs. Allow your lower back to lengthen and soften. Allow the folding of your knees, the softening of the front of your feet. Really deepening in, settling in. Nice. So we're going to do a few different versions of the next movement. So come up onto your hands and knees. Okay, I'm going to do it this way so you can see me. And just take your right hand and glide it underneath your left armpit and bring your shoulder to the floor. And like we did just a moment ago, allow the folding of you or the softening of you as you settle here. Feeling how your breath lengthens and then settles and deepens. I feel more of a pull out of the right hip then the left. I wonder, is that true when we turn the other way around? Or is that just that my right hip is talking to me more this morning? Let's notice. Nice change. Bring the left shoulder hand underneath the right armpit. And so this is true on this side as well. The shoulder that's near the ground, that hip is talking more again on this side. So it's inherently this pose that's doing that more so than one hip more than the other. Um, I'm always trying to track what poses are doing in my body or shapes are doing. And then how one side is different from the other on any and every given day. You know, even though we've done this one before, we never did it now. And now you are an utterly different person than you were five minutes ago, an hour ago, yesterday, a week ago, a year ago, 10 years ago. And that gradual changing dynamic of you, we're just meeting that this morning. How are you this morning as you yield into this? Nice, and then come back up. So the next movement, you're gonna be sitting back into your child's pose and you're gonna draw your shoulder down. So now we're much, much lower. And so actually bring your hands wide to begin. So your hands are wide in your child's pose. And then take your right hand and reach it towards the left hand. And now you're just looking towards the left and it's a bit squishier. Nice, try the other side. Hands are wide, just bring your left hand over towards the right. 
it's underneath the armpit as such of the other one and just let that settle feel how there's a creeping softness a settling softness a yielding that's happening here If you're adapting by sitting on a chair, you can do the same thing and just putting your hand to your knee and the other hand reaching across. Always adapting according to your knees, your body. Nice, come back up. So now we're gonna try two. So your hands glide in opposite directions and you're resting down on your arms. This is where my microphone starts going really wonky. So I'm gonna take my microphone out. And so bring both hands wide. So the opposite hand is pointing right and left. And just see when your palms are face up, when your palms are face down, when you lift your bum and try and bring your nose to the floor, when you bring your heels back. So find maybe you move a little bit more forward. Make sure you don't feel like you're joking. <laughs> and just find the place where you feel like, oh, here I feel I can be in control of my weight, of my body moving down into my shoulders, and I can yield to the weight of it. So if I do it from the side, my bum is a little bit up, my knees are wide, and I'm reaching down or leaning down into my arms. Maybe take a sigh, maybe do that physiological sigh where you breathe and then take a huge breath in on top of it again. So breathing in and then another breath. So, nice. so change the cross of your arms. So for me, my right arm is closer to my chin. So I'm going to take them out and then do the other way around. And leaning into the side. Palms up, palms down, one palm up, one palm down. For me, the chin that's closest to the arm that's closest to my chin, that palm is face up. And the palm that's closest to my knee, that palm is face down. I have no logical reason why, but that just feels like the way that my arms were, are twisting right now. Nice. Come all the way back out. Palms to the floor, just do a shoulder shrug. Squeeze your shoulders back, oh, push your shoulders forward. So just shoulder shrugging. It's not really a cat pose, it's just shoulders moving forward and backwards. Nice. So come down again, oh, oh yes, come down again into your, oh, actually don't, bring your right hand, um, Bring your right hand out towards the right so it reaches out towards the right and then turn your head slowly towards the left and then look towards the right hand and slowly feel what happens as you turn your head away from the right arm i'm trying to look towards the ceiling as i do this and also my shoulder is dropping down towards the floor one more time Nice, other side. Left hand out to the side and then turn your head away from your left arm. Last one. Nice, cool. Cool, come sit on your bum, legs are long in front of you. And then bend your knees into zigzag. So zigzag are where both knees are bent and I'm, yeah. And then bring your feet a little bit further away. So you're in the 1990 and 1990 is where my, when both feet are towards the right and both knees are towards the left, I have my right foot is far away from my bum and my left foot is far away from the right knee. So there's a square between the thigh of the right leg and the left calf. Bring your left hand to the floor. Now try and lift the right foot off the floor and then try and lift the right knee off the floor. It's not really a Sunday yum, this feels like, but we're not gonna stand up. 
I just, this is what felt like needed to happen today, to tie open into tomorrow. So just lifting your knee up, lifting your foot up. Go slowly, lifting your knee up. Lean into the end of it, lifting your foot up. Feel how one lengthens your inner thigh and then one spirals and really moves into the, the outer band of your leg, the iliotibial band. Your right hand can also be on the floor just in front of your hips. One more time. And then pause with your right knee in the air with your right foot on the floor. And imagine that your knee is moving more and more towards the right and that your baby toe is pushing into the floor. Nice. Now pause with your right foot in the air. And drop your foot to the floor. We're going to lift the left leg. So push both hands into the floor, either side of the left thigh. Lift your left leg. Lower it down. Lift your left leg. Lower it down. One more time. Lift your left leg. Pause. It's been a while since we've done these kind of things. <laughs> Lowering down. Other side. So the 1990 towards the right. So my left foot is away from my bum. My right foot is away from my right left knee. And there's a square in the space between my right calf and my left thigh. Bring your right hand to the floor, maybe your left hand. See which way you want to do this. And then lift your left foot off the floor. Wow, it's been a while. That leg doesn't have a clue what I mean. <laughs> and then lift your left knee off the floor. Left foot. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, left knee. So it's always really interesting. We're always changing the ranges we're going into. We're never repeating the same thing twice because like that, I've just found out that I have a range that's really not being challenged much. I can't lift that foot much at all. And I'm so excited that I found something that I'm useless at. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's so cool i love finding where the, the glitches are or where i can connect more into it just means that i now will start doing this a lot <laughs> you look back and think that morning that's when it all started <laughs> nice bring your left knee high your left foot's on the floor, you're pushing down into the left foot and you're trying to draw that left knee further and further towards the left. Let's really have a sense of pushing down. Nice, other way, try and pause with your left foot in the air. Oh, amazing. You don't have any strength to lift the foot at all there. So cool. Okay, so now lift your right leg. Both hands either side of the right thigh. Hiya. Lower down. Lift it up. Lower down. Lift it up. Lower down and then pause. Nice. Lower down. Bring both knees over towards the left. Bring your belly down onto the left thigh and just surrender and pause there. You can bring your hands wide if you wish. You can reach your right hand towards the left hand like we did at the beginning of the class. So what I did was, if I explain a bit better, I bring my hands wide either side of that left knee and then I reached my right hand towards my left hand so I have this lengthening through the outside of my right shoulder. If you can breathe into that outer part of the right shoulder and maybe turn your head a little bit more to look over your left shoulder. Just see how that is. Nice, come back up to center. Other side, drop your knees down into zigzag on the right. 
bring both hands wide either side of the left knee oh right knee right knee right knee <laughs> and then stay here or bring your left hand back in the direction of your right hand and so you're also leaning into the outside of your left shoulder as you do this Nice, come back up to center. This time down towards the left with your zigzag, reach your arms behind you, and then slowly just lean forward towards your left thigh. And come back up. Reach back with your arms, forward. Come back up, last one. Forward. And back up. Cool, both knees towards the right. Lean your arms backwards, forwards with your torso. Up, forward with your torso. Up, last one, forward with your torso. Up, nice, come lie on the floor. Land. Cool. So both arms are wide and just resting on the floor. You can have them either a little bit out from your side or you can have them straight out to your side, depending on the space that you're in. And then take your right hand and reach it as far towards the left shoulder or the left upper arm as you can. And then reach more there. So I'm not twisting. I'm just finding that opening again through the outside of my right shoulder as I do this. And then just wiggle your shoulder a little bit further in and then a little bit back. Just like a one inch deeper and then one inch back. Reach, drop, reach, drop, reach, drop one more time. Reach, drop. Nice, both arms wide. Take the left hand, bring it across to the Right shoulder, right upper arm, and then reach, soften, reach. As always, my left side really isn't as coordinated. It has a kind of a jerky, clunky feeling to it. I would be interested in the differences. How would I slow things down so this arm could learn what's happening? It just doesn't know what's happening. So when I slow down and teach it, rather than assume that it knows, actually it's changing already. Awesome. One more time. Nice. So cross your arms, uh, both arms up towards the ceiling, and then just drop your arms down and hold on to the outsides of your shoulders. And then, Draw a circle towards the ceiling with your elbows. How big of a circle can you draw here? And then circle in the other direction. Nice. Change the cross of your arms. And draw a circle. And then in the other direction. Super. And drop your arms wide. Bring your right foot on top of the left knee. And then lift your left foot in the air so that it pulls the right foot towards you. And just pause there. Flexing into the right foot will protect your right knee. And you just really feel like you're engaging into the leg. So like stretch down into that right foot squeeze the left knee closer nice. and then draw a circle with the knees in this shape how big of a circle can you draw
and then circle in the other direction. Nice change. Bring both feet to the floor and then lift the left foot and place it on top of the right knee and then lift the right foot in the air, squeezing your knee towards you. Engage deeply into that left foot, stretching down into the toes, wiggling your toes. Really feel like your leg is enjoying and connecting to the sensations that are happening. And then draw a deep circle. And then circle in the other direction. Nice. Bring both feet to the floor. Sway your knees from side to side. A bit of a different Sunday yum. Well, that's okay. Change is good. Never assume you know or I know what's going to happen next. <laughs> Bring the soles of your feet together, your knees apart. You can have your arms wherever feels comfortable. I'm going to walk my hips or my shoulders away from my hips so my spine is long. I'm going to reach my arms overhead. Feels very nice. If you want to, you can move your pelvis a bit here, like where you rock your thighs down from side to side. Or you can roll your pelvis in a circle. You can tilt your pelvis. You can lift one side of your pelvis and then the other. You can just sway your pelvis from side to side. It's what supports you to be present and here in this moment. I find if I stay still for very long and it gets really intense in my body, I'll just check out and go somewhere else. And so I create movement and connection to stay present and wholesome in my body. And so really feeling like when things become intense, when we're lengthening into something, I just begin to wiggle or move or create resources in this place change is a resource if something's very intense and so therefore you can stay present stay awake and alive in your body as you're moving so nice stretch your legs out long or squeeze your knees up towards you i went slightly over time sorry about that it was very nice um so nice cool guys very lovely slightly different sunday yum um nice yes and my website's up um dun 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 website is up so www.yogawithkira.yoga um, there's a few different changes we're still going to make we're still tweaking with it but this is the the 99.9 percent .9 of what we're going to be doing there'll be a call to action you know next yoga class so you'll be able to go to the site and see what's coming up next um really exciting again thank you thank you thank you thank you Sinead for all the work that you do um you've been working away on this for for ages it feels like so great thank you without you a lot of this wouldn't happen um so great i will see you all tomorrow we're going to be up and standing shoulders and hips again really moving into more strength and power in our bodies um rock on be awesome those of you are meeting on the beach i'll see you at nine o'clock and yes darkness into light is on the saturday morning the 6th of may and my local swimming group we're gonna we've set up a little group and we're gonna go and do the darkness into light together at half past four on that morning maybe you in your local area could set up a darkness into light that's where you start walking in the dark and you end up in the light 
um, you can go to the darkness into light and you can create a new little group for your walking group or for your swimming club or for your whatever um, dolphin <laughs> whatever um, it's really important we talk about suicide and the effects and support and resources around it data house is amazing um, so yes check it out darkness into light um, i'll be talking about it from now until then get your shoes on and get walking in the dark um, for a very 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 good cause and really amazing awareness okay um, be well be awesome be you ciao